Hey everyone, welcome back to my Angular tutorial, Angular 7. Alex Louie here. Today, what I want to show you is how to create a nested component within a parent component. And in continue on with our with our previous application, our Hello World application that we made. In <clears> the <throat> last video, I went over routing. And today, I, I think we're going to build on a couple of important concepts today regarding our application development so I, again I think that uh, building components is important so I wanna, we want to modularize our code okay so for me to actually add a nested component there are a couple things that I need to do very easy uh, number one is obviously I'm gonna create the nested component so why don't we do that first let's create a nested component we're gonna create a component which we are going to nest somewhere around here down below uh, underneath this sentence here and what we want to do is we want to put it we're going to do a break break and then put our nested component here now we are going to add we're going to do a new and we're going to call this nested dot component dot ts so this is going to be our TypeScript class and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the code from this particular one do that real quick let's go over here okay so we're going to paste here and we're going to call this we're going to change the selector name call it nested we're also going to bind a uh, template URL to this particular nested component. So we're going to do that now. Nested and nested.css. Now we're going to change the class name to be called nested component. And then we won't, we won't have any variables yet. So this is going to build upon our knowledge where in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to pass data to a child component and then we're gonna well we're gonna pass data from a parent to the child and then the child will do something with that data to present to the uh, to the user interface okay so now we have a child component class we're gonna have to just create our HTML and CSS file so let me do that now real quick and again, I'm putting everything in the root. Later on in the tutorials, I will show you how to org how I organize things uh, at the app source level. Okay, so we're going to add new file. We're going to call this nested .html. and here we're just put. Uh, I am a nested component and here we're gonna add the nested dot CSS just it's just gonna be blank because there's really nothing we want to put just gonna show you the basics so I uh, put that in just gonna save that so, so far so good we just have not really done anything to add it to the actual hello world page so the next thing we want to do is actually we want to make it available to our whole app so if we go back to the app module we are going to add another component here so it'll be called our nested component from nested okay so we added our nested component we imported it and then we are going to declare it so that it is available to us in our application we leave the following the bootstrap array alone we're still gonna bootstrap always hello world that's our starting component and if we look now we can now add 
our nested component inside our hello world. And what, how we could do is we can say uh, nested, nested. Just make sure that your selector tag name here does match the tag name that you created in this component here. And that pretty much should should do it if we want to add a nested component. So now we have we have a, a parent component which is a hello world and then we're we can add a nested component which is the one we just created as a child. Now we save that, save all and there you go. We have uh, a nested component here. Let's just take a look at the HTML. We didn't really wrap it around with anything. We just know that it is a. We put a B tag on there, there and you notice how it appends a ng content, and that's part of the component lifecycle. We'll talk about that when we get to component lifecycle hooks, so you can learn a little bit about the theory and the events and the hooks that are available to us when we actually load a page we'll get there we'll get there uh, soon sooner than later hopefully and that's it that's pretty much how you add a component to a to a parent and that was under six seven minutes pretty fast pretty good pretty good i think i think i broke my own record so next video i'm going to show you how to pass data to the component. So for example, let's say we have this hello world component and we want to pass a couple of values down to to our nested component from here. So I may just want to say um, create a, a value here that says name is equal to John and then this string value John will be passed down to our nested component and then we can actually render it we can render it here from the parent now you have a communication within a parent and a child so you can pass down data down to your nested component and we'll, I'll, we'll, I'll teach you how to do that in the next video first simple add a blank component next video we're going to add some data to the um, to the child nested component. Thanks for for looking at my video. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about Angular. Again, we go steps slow and steady, but as long as you are grasping the concepts and you and you're you're understanding where to look when you're adding components, uh, that's that's the whole point of this course. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you can subscribe to my channel thousands of subscribers by the summer that's my goal so one more subscriber be very very good and if you have any comments on anything just send me a comment send me a question thank you very much